What up, what up, what up? Welcome to the beatmajors.net. Hope you all are doing good out there. Um, so today we're gonna focus on basically uh how to track your beats out. Um, you know, it comes a time when an artist is gonna say, Hey, I need the track outs for that beat. You know, I have my engineer, they're gonna, you know, mix it better, we're gonna change the format up a little bit. What you would do is after you've created your beat, like we have here, you want to add each sound that you've used to your mixer. They all need to have their own mixer track. So we have the sample here, our kick, our drum loop, our kick to our crash, our bass, um, you know, the tag, the roads, a transition and another drum roll. So um, I'll kind of show you what we have here and how everything how we got how we're making sure everything is on the mixer here. So what you want to do is after you've done your mixing, you know, you've done your leveling and things like that. Again, you just want to make sure that every sound that you used in your beat it needs to be on its own mixer track, you know, and make sure that it's named. It's not, you know, saying anything crazy. Sound effects 20,005, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, kick 93. You know, you want to make sure it says kick one, um, kick two. You know, if you have a sample or something, you want to make sure it says that this track is a sample. Um, we have a drum loop. You want to make sure that it says those things so that, you know, when the the engineer or the you know whoever's recording throws the track in there they they're already organized and also you know you want to make sure that you um into your bpm so we've got everything on the mixer so what you do is you go up to file you go to export you want to click wave file once you've clicked wave file it's going to bring up a box here so that you can you know find out where you want to put it you can put it on your desktop so we're going to just name it new folder um, and again you want to make sure that you're putting the bpm also so 146 bpm enter and you just want to hit um go into the folder go to penthouse you know just name it whatever you're going to name it hit save once you hit save, this is the most important area. Well, I should say down here is the most important area you need to pay attention to. Of course, up here, you want to make sure that your wave um, is at 16 bit first. Um, you can do 24. Um, your quality, you want to make sure you don't have disable maximum polyphony enabled because what will happen is if you have a sample that's chopped or, you know, certain sounds like your 808 things will start over overlapping because it's turning off your polyphony of your your tracks which causes you know your 808s to uh cut themselves so you want to make sure that that's not off so that everything plays in sync and nothing's overlapping down here you want to make sure you press split mixer tracks this option here is very very important this is why i talked about having your tracks on the mixer here because once you go to export this these stems it won't export the stems unless you have the split mixer tracks um, enabled and this will basically just send everything that's on the mixer from the master everything that's on here that has its own name um, it's gonna make sure that it exports so again make sure your split mixer tracks is on uh, make sure your dis disable maximum polyphony is off and you know just set it at 16 bit if you want to go 24 bit that's cool um, but you know just I guess stay at 16 bit for now um, but yeah, after you've made sure all those settings are set, you hit start and your track will, of course, already, um, it'll track it out on its own. So again, hope this was helpful to you guys. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget, like, comment, share, and until next time, peace.